Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive and help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. It's the craziest thing you saw today. You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, George, you Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone. And I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Oh, you going to ask me a question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang 9. Evacuating the civvies before Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him on to a medical ship. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp and the MP stops and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey man, you ass. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought you were going to tell this story about some good getting his dick blown off or son. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like the baby. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That's better than one delicious fucking pig. Follow me. As for you, going to grab those 
thousand bags off the truck. You can carry them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? Two hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred forty-six dollars. Small bills, most. Now let Miss Kale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Check that scattergun. You packing everything? Still in trade. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Fire room's down in the cellar, huh? This way. I ain't seen you around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. My cousin's been trying to get out here for a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. They old nigga who staggers in his high on the spot. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. Yeah, they get sent to Dallas and it comes back. That doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are.
about it is the way it's stored in that armory. Look. The door open. I'll watch our asses. Oh, man, gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck. Fuck, come on, go open. this over and now. Nah, little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaners and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve and he provided a rough lay.